pastor said that he entered the bus to go somewhere. And somebody in the bus said, uh-uh. Are you not the owner of this 500 Naira? Are you hearing what I'm saying? So the guy checked and said, This money is not my own, but let me check whether it's my own. He now picked the 500. I've forgotten whether he returned or continued with the money. Only for him to step down in the bus as he was getting home, he noticed that his manhood has disappeared. Say, Pastor. What do you call that one? It's you that is normal. People are not normal. It's only you. You are the only one that is normal in this whole world. You wake up one day and just look somebody in the face and challenge him. You don't know where the person is coming from. It's just like you foolishly con- con- confronting me on the street. Simply because me and you look like age mates. You will die a brutal death very fast. Dr. Paul and Nature said that there is a guy that is going to, when they were in their former church, they were, the guy just saw a damsel along maybe the junction. And then he asked the damsel, Where are you going? Join me. Let me carry you. You know. All these guys, I believe those people are not here. You can't see a damsel with your eyes and pass. There are many inside church. Yes. He now said, he told the damsel, enter, let me take you since you are going the same direction. When the damsel entered, they were reaching the junction where he will now take and enter the church. The damsel now said, stop me here. I'm, he said, how can you stop in the middle here? The guy telling the lady, how can you stop? He said, stop me here. I'm going back to hell. He said, you are going back to what? He said, I'm going back to hell. The guy behaved as if he didn't hear what the woman was saying. He said, where do you say you are going back? He said, I'm going back to hell. The guy took his head and put on the steering. When he raised up his head, the lady has disappeared. He, she went back to hell as she said. You are the only one that is normal. The guy ran. The guy ran to the church there. Do not miss that was closed. He said, I just saw devil. Can somebody pray for me? I just saw devil. Can somebody pray for me? <laughs> some of you, you have... There are some young men, their trouble that they are passing through is that they slept with agents of darkness and submitted their destiny some young ladies they slept with some agents of the and submitted their destinies yes some people just foolishly boastly they encounter some people and, and both of them boasted him he went to sleep the other one slept on he slept on a tree till morning as he was releasing all trance he was drinking something Somebody said that there is a young man he knew before he went for job interview. There is a God that is in their father's compound. He didn't talk. He took the water from inside. He didn't talk till daybreak. Releasing all trance. You, you wake up in the morning and say, God is good. And then you go for interview. You have gone for 50 interviews. No job now. Because you think life is normal. See, today... You are going to release yourself. Oh. See, let me tell you. There are spirits. This is, I will teach you. There is a difference between deliverance and warfare. There are spirits you cast out. There are spirits you war with. It's not every spirit you cast out. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. Come out. No. Some you war with them. You are going to war with them. Some of them have been there. They have a throne and sit in your family. They have been controlling destiny since the last 200 years in your family. You just come out and say, I am free. Ooh. They will say, who told you to speak?
some of you, you know in your heart that your season is here. But you are not seeing it. It's warfare dimensional. It's warfare. See, you have to be brutal. When you finish this prayer, you can become a very quiet damsel. But here now, this one. When I finish like this, people will say I'm a quiet guy. I will say thank you. If you say I'm, I'm, I'm a quiet guy, I will say thank you. I won't talk to you. There is a place where men speak. Oh. If you see men that are loud outside, they are mostly don't have anything inside. Men that do business in the secret, they don't talk much. They know that their words carry power. They are men of the secret place. They are men of sacrifices and altars. They understand how to take advantage of the constellations, the stars and the moon. Somebody like Joshua, he will appear and say, Let the sun and moon stand still until I avenge the Amalekites. Why will the sun go down when I have not won the victory? We have not won yet. Ah. Listen to me. Sometimes you wake up and pray for three days. You now notice that after you started praying and doing warfare, it seems as if your health now went bad. A lot of things started scattering. Let me tell you, everything you have been doing since that day, they have not recognized it. The day you start noticing that things around your life start reacting to your prayer, they know then that you have started touching the things that need to be broken. This is where you need to put on strength, O oh, arm of the Lord. Put on strength. I thou not the one that broke Rehab. I thou not the one that cut him into pieces. Put on strength, O oh, arm of the Lord. Oh! Let the devil be cut into two. That is the days when the mighty men fought. They cut, they cut Rehab. They cut the Leviathan. Ow! Akata! Kataku Akata! The mighty men will fall. Son of 
Jesus. Exodus chapter 5. Exodus chapter 5, verse 1. You can't pray like this and not have your Bible. Bring your Bible. The Bible says, And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. Who is, who is speaking here? Huh? Now Moses is telling us, telling Pharaoh what the Lord said. He said what? Thus said the Lord God of Israel. What is the testimony of God? Let my people go, that they may hold a feast for unto me in the wilderness. Now, 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 if, if you preach this in church, what we hear is amen. But look at verse 2. And Pharaoh said, who is the Lord? I thought God have said, let my people go. Paul said the Lord, he shall prosper this year. Nobody can stop you from one level of glory to another level of glory. You will blossom. You will be rich. You will marry. You will have children. Everything that troubles you will be disqualified. Oh, God has blessed you. And nobody can cause. He is sweet. And then you go to the altar and drop off it. You go to the altar and drop offering. When you finish, you turn to Pharaoh. You say, who is the Lord that said? I'm, see, I'm not saying this thing is wrong. Go. I'm saying Pharaoh said, yes, it's God that said it. And so, you are not understanding. What I'm saying, Pharaoh said, I agree. God said it. And so, so just go, you say, God said it. I should, I should do what? So God said it, we should sleep for you now. <laughs> so, so God said it, God, you, you will prosper. I see you where you are ruling territory. You are a big, you, God has blessed you. I see money in your hands. You will be a rich man. You will be lifted and nobody will bring you down. I see a new car before you. I see a new wife. I see a new house. I see somebody shout hallelujah. Then you turn to Pharaoh. Pharaoh will say, Who is the Lord? He said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice? To let Israel go. He said, I don't know the Lord. One, are you hearing it? Number two, neither will I let Israel go. You have, you have now seen where we need warfare. He said, I don't know God. You are the one that is saying this thing. And I will not let Israel go. If you read that, when Moses went to report to God, I thought God would say, ah, no. God told him, it's warfare now. That he knows that Pharaoh will not release you easily. You are not with me. God knows that it's only warfare that can rescue Israel from Egypt. So he just sent... He sent Moses to find out. He already knows. Him, but he just sent Moses to find out. You don't know Satan. He's a rebel, my friend. He, he, he thrives in disobeying. He thrives in rebellion. He thrives in fight, fighting the things that God has set in place. He fight, he, he thrives in ungodliness. He thrives in lawlessness. Oh my God. Let me show you something in Isaiah chapter 14 verse 17. Then you will cry. You don't know who is Satan. You don't know who is Lucifer. He knows. He knows that after all the things God said, you will go and relax. Look at verse 17. That scripture speaks about Lucifer. Verse 17 said, That made the world as what? A wilderness. And destroyed what? The city is thereof. Then the last phrase is what I'm looking for. That what? He set and lock you, no go open. Now you go fight. I have to say it this way so you understand. If set and lock you, don't think after five years it will now open for you. The person set and lock is, is not going to get better, it will get worse. 
it will take warfare for you to unlock the door. My, my friend, when he entered, the, some of you have had those encounters. You will be in the dream and you will see yourself in a prison. And when you want to come at a strong man in that prison, we beat, we, we beat you to pop. And for the next six months, you cannot recover your life, your spiritual, everything in your life will go down. He opened not the door of his prisoners. You will have to be brutal. You will have to be brutal. Hey! Hey! Find neighbor 7-7. Seven, seven. Shut up! 
You will die with this time. <laughs> Jungle don't mature. <laughs> it's better you are clothed in the spirit than that you are wearing tie and Satan is binding you. The doors are not open. Things are not moving in your family. You are wearing tie. What has tie helped you? Tie has not done anything. You are wearing tie up and down, deceiving yourself. You are doing makeup, deceiving yourself. Satan has bound you. The door is not open. Who are you deceiving with new clothes?
happening already. If you are sick and your sickness is traced to an affliction, an arrow, a manipulation by Satan, that sickness is going now. Listen to me. There is something I'm seeing now. And I don't know who is implicated. I saw somebody inside a tunnel, a very dark tunnel. And as you are moving inside the tunnel, it is getting darker and darker. Who is the person? Come, let me pray for you. Come, let's pray for you before we go into what we have today. A tunnel, you need to be rescued. You need to be rescued. You need to be rescued. Are you the one? Kneel down, let's pray for you. The next one minute, pray for him. Let light beam from heaven. Let the light of God beam from heaven. It might be deliver us by the mighty hand of God. We are delivered from that tunnel now. You are delivered from that darkness. You are delivered from that hold. From the hold. From the hold. From the hold. seconds in Jesus mighty name see my eyes are open and I'm seeing other things there is somebody here in your visions, you see somebody chasing you. You are running, running as if you are running to escape something. Sometimes you don't even know who is chasing you. But you still know you are running. Running like you are running for your life. Come on, let's pray for you now. Come on, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Stretch out your hands and pray for these ones. The Lord will trouble them that trouble you from today. He will pursue them that pursue you from today. He will trouble them that trouble you and pursue them that pursue you. here 
you are feeling there are pangs of pain you feel seasonally at either this side or this side huh? do you know what happened you went on warfare and you were shot that arrow will be removed now come and join them quickly Let's cry, let's cry. By the mighty hand of God, let the arrows be removed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are brutes. 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 All the arrows of the enemy. here listen to me what I'm seeing is that there is somebody here sometimes in dreams in vision sometimes even when you are awake you will hear somebody call your name and then your heart will skip they will call your name if you just raise your hand where are you they will call your name and your heart will skip every altar where they are mentioning your name and projecting things in your destiny trying to manipulate your life let us cry in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey! 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 Pray! Pray! As we pray, your name will be removed there. As we pray, the connection will be severe. around i didn't see any baby what i'm seeing is a baby crying crying as if he's being oppressed and he needs help oh jesus jesus let us pray in the name of jesus who whithersoever the baby is 
connected to anybody here online offline online offline every spirit tormenting that young child every warfare against that young baby pray 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 climbing mountain, climbing mountain and they are laboring climbing the mountain and I began to ask what is the meaning of this and God began to say that there are people here that the warfare in your life is greater than your strength something will happen now, you will receive the corporate strength of this house and you will push over your warfare take advantage of the corporate strength in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God, wherever you are now, for one shall chase ten thousand, for two shall chase ten thousand. Jonathan said, "It is not an impossible thing for God to win with many and to conquer with a few." business I mean now you sell in the market I don't mean I don't mean online you sell you sell inside the market a physical market not a virtual one you sell inside market right 
hey, raise your hand, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Hi. Pray for your businesses so that any attack of Satan, any attack of the devil, any warfare that comes out of competition. God will neutralize it in the next one minute. Make sure you are praying. Fight for you. 